Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So I hope that you have downloaded your admit card by now and you all have your own admit card with you. Uh, if not, please download it from the UGC NTA website and I will give you a link for that in the description of this video. So I am here going to talk about your admit card in detail. I'll be talking about different section of admit card. What does that mean? What are there uh, like what are the things you need to take care of before you reach examination center? What are the documents required uh, so that you can seamlessly give your exam and some points which you need to take care of. Okay, I'll be also talking about the most important thing which is uh, the declaration part and uh, the form for non Aadhaar students. So whom they that form is for what and how you have to fill that form everything we are going to discuss in this video okay so this is going to be very important please watch this till end also please share it with your friends so that they also get the correct information and they can uh, appear in the exam properly all right this is basically how your admit card is going to look like this is uh, uh, like first page of your admit card if you see over here you will have all the basic information like your roll number your uh, name your gender your uh, whether you belong to PWD category and then your application number, father's name, date of birth and scribe required. Now this is scribe required is only for these candidates who are uh, who belong to certain condition or certain percentage of PWD uh, category and those who are required a particular person along with them in the examination center so that they can give this exam properly. So it should be in general or for all other candidates it should be written no here or not applicable over here. You should have your own photograph, your signature and a barcode. These three things are very important. Make sure that these three things are clear. Your photograph is clear, your signature is correct and the barcode is clear when you download your admit card. Okay. So these three things should be very clear when you download your admit card. Please, if your admit card, once you download it, if these three things are not clear, please re-download it. Okay. Uh, make sure that these all three things are clear in your admit card. Now, uh, rest of the things are related to your examination center. So, you will have that for which you have applied for whether you have applied for JRF or LS it will be mentioned over here. Then your subject will be mentioned like whatever subject it is chemistry or life science or whatever it is. Uh, date of examination will be there, shift will be mentioned uh, and reporting time will be mentioned and the time at which the gate is going to close that will be mentioned. At the time when your test will start that will be mentioned and your test center number will be mentioned which you have to tally in the whenever you will be sitting in the exam. So that is what it will be. Name of your examination center, address of your examination center, city of your test center and state of your test center. So this, this basically this column is uh, based upon all your test details. Okay, You do not have to do anything. Let us come down a little bit. Here is a sign of the director. Here it says that candidate must reach the center at the time of indicated. That is fine. So, you have to reach at the time uh, of reporting. Okay, Try to reach it before that. There are some basic information or basic details which are mentioned uh, like uh, you have to check the subject which you have applied for and other things and it says that no candidate shall be permitted to enter after the gate closing time. So, make sure that you appear or you reach examination center on time and uh, fine next thing is self declaration this particular part this self declaration part is very important you all have to sign it okay all of you who are going for the exam so you have to write your name here okay your address okay so it says resident of so you have to mention or write down your address over here do hereby declare so this is basically a declaration form and i have read uh, the detailed most important instruction for candidate and here you have to attach a passport size photograph okay so you have to paste your photograph here okay so you have to paste your photograph try to paste same photograph which you have uploaded in the while filling the form it should be ideally same but if it is not same then also it should be similar okay it can happen that you have uploaded a different photo and you don't have that photo the best thing is that uh, you take that file, whatever file, uh, whatever photo you have uploaded, just take it to the nearby uh, studio and ask that person to get print of that and you will have the same photograph. Okay, So, try to get the same photo that will be like you will not be having any issue in that case. Then your left hand thumb impression. Okay, So, your thumb impression is here. Okay, Thumb impression. And these things to it has to be done before you reach the examination center. So make sure that this photograph you do before reaching examination center. 
and this thumb impression you are doing it before reaching examination center here you have to sign but this has to be signed on the day of examination in the presence of the invigilator so this thing you don't have to fill okay this has to be left blank okay that's why i'm writing blank here you don't have to assign or something just leave it like that okay this has to be done in front of invigilator when you will be sitting in exam the examination the invigilator will come to you and in presence of that invigilator you have to sign over here okay in addition to this you have to carry one more photo some additional photos also because those photos you have to basically paste it in their uh, like uh, uh, attendance sheet so you have to keep that also okay so i think this part is clear to you name address you have to paste your photograph before you reach the examination center means from your home itself you have to do and take a thumb impression and this also you have to do left hand thumb impression and do that before you reach examination center but don't do anything in this column you have to do this once you reach examination uh, center and once the invigilator is there in presence of that okay the next part is important instructions and i have highlighted some part of it there are various different instructions which are mentioned the important points are that you need to your admit card consists of three pages which is mentioned page number one which has center detail page number two which has important instruction which is where we are right now and page number three which has a declaration for uh, from non aadhar candidate okay and uh, these all three pages you have to download so whatever case it is you have to download all these three pages okay uh, and these three pages you have to bring to the examination center okay uh, rest of the things are there one very important point is mentioned over here it says that if religion custom requires you to wear a specific attire please visit the examination center early for thorough checking and mandatory frisking so in case if you belong to a particular religion if you belong to sikh religion where you have to wear a turban or if you are uh, if you belong to muslim religion where uh, and if you are wearing a abaya in that case uh, you have to reach examination center little before or if any specific attire if you are wearing according to religion or custom in that case you have to reach there for thorough checking and frisking frisking is nothing but just the checking which they do with the metallic uh, like uh, instrument right the one which how they do the checking okay whether you have uh, like whether you are hiding something or not that's what they want to check okay next is an important point which says no candidate would be allowed to enter examination center without admit card and undertaking so your undertaking okay uh, this self declaration or undertaking and admit card without this you will not be allowed to enter then you should also have a valid id proof and proper frisking frisking again the checking will be done as i said it is mentioned also that frisking uh, through handheld metal detector hhmd will be carried out without physical touch so just like you uh, your checking is done on uh, uh, like when you go to mall or something in the same way it will be done okay just like that centers will have cctv and also you don't try to do anything uh, fishy okay next thing is that uh, these are the things which are allowed in the examination center one is your personal transparent water bottle if you want you can carry your water bottle but that needs to be transparent then your admit card downloaded from the nta website a clear print out on a4 size paper it is not said whether it should be color or black and white it is up to you whatever type of print you want if you want you can take color print if you want you can take black and white print okay it's up to you uh, additional uh, two passport size photograph so you should have two passport size photograph one is to pasting on the attendance sheet and one pasting on the page one of admit card so if you have already pasted one on the admit card you only need one more in the examination center to be pasted in the attendance sheet so uh, you need to photograph one to be pasted in your admit card and the other one to be pasted in the attendance sheet okay so two additional photograph you need and original id proof so these four things are there which has which are allowed to be taken inside the examination center okay now uh, yeah so it says that before reaching the examination center just check that whether all the things all the details are correct in the self declaration and uh, then it is said that they should ensure that their left hand thumb impression is clear and not smudged okay so make sure that you uh, give a good or clear thumb impression and you should paste a photograph okay so these things you have to do before you reach examination center this is an important point which says candidate must carry any one of the original and valid photo identification 
proof okay issued by the government what are those so you can either bring your pan card or driving license or voter id card or passport or aadhar card okay the aadhar card should have a photograph on it okay uh, or you can also bring a e aadhar card now all other id uh, or photocopies of ids even if attested scanned photo of ids in the mobile phone will not be considered as valid id proof so you should have a physical id with you you cannot have photocopy of your id you cannot have a scanned copy of your id you cannot just show your id on your mobile phone these things are not going to be considered you should have your physical id with you okay that's very important point okay you are not allowed to carry any personal belonging okay that's clear over here then your shoes or footwear if you are wearing of a thick sole that might be asked for checking or uh, that might be asked for not it might not be permitted okay if you have large buttons in your dress then also it might not be permitted so we are very normal casual dress when you go for exam next point says that blank paper sheets for rough work will be provided in the examination center okay so for rough work you will be given blank sheet and candidate must write their name and roll number on the top of each sheet and must drop the sheet in the designated drop box without fail before leaving the examination center so you have you will be given a rough paper do whatever rough work you are doing but before that you mention your name and roll number on that sheet and you drop that while leaving the examination center they will ask you they will give you a place where you have to drop your blank paper okay so these are some important points there are some other things like if you have any problem or anything these are the helplines which are provided to you so you can look up on that now let's talk about the most important part of this particular admit card which is declaration from non aadhar candidate now for whom it is concerned first of all let's understand this okay technically i would suggest that every one of you please fill this okay please fill it when you are reaching out actually what happened that when you were filling out the form there were many candidates who have opted that they will not provide their aadhar details if you remember while filling the form there was a option that Uh, you want to provide your aadhar card detail and verify it or the other was that you don't want to do that so many candidates might have chosen that they don't want to uh, give their aadhar details or they might have given any other id proof apart from aadhar they might have given pan card or passport size or uh, sorry their passport or uh, maybe their driving license or voter id card so in that case uh, they require your aadhar detail okay so that's why you have to do this declaration so this declaration is kind of application it's in the form of application it says declaration regarding uh, joint csr ugc net december 2024 it says dear sir i hereby declare that i am so write down your name here okay son uh, son of so you have to write down your father's name okay you have to write down your father's name here and you have to write down your mother's name okay write down your mother's name declare that my candidature for this exam is genuine and all the details filled in online application form are valid as per my knowledge the image uploaded in the application form is not matching with my face due to the following reason so this is done because a lot of aadhar card which has been issued in our country that has been issued long back and the picture in the aadhar uh, card might not be same uh, to the picture which you have uploaded in the application form so that's also one of the reason over here so it says that the image uploaded on my application form is not matching with the with my face due to the following reason there are different reasons here a uh, blank image uploaded with application form or poor quality of image uploaded with the application form incorrect image uploaded with the application form or others just don't do anything okay don't tick in any one of them just fill this part and don't do anything okay go to the examination center and ask what to be done here okay they will tell you in because i cannot say what you have to do because there are a lot of students who are watching and in your case it might be different thing it might happen that you don't even need this document it might happen that your image is blank or it might happen that your image is of poor quality which i might not be able to say in a recorded video okay unless and until i see your admit card personally so i am not going to do that so please leave this whole thing blank go to the examination center and there you can ask what has to be done okay they will tell you to fill it or to do whatever they if they want they will ask you to fill the thing if they will not want it they will just ask you to just leave it okay 
uh, and then fill your name again candidates name fill your application number okay your application number then your roll number okay and then your uh, id proof type whatever id proof type you are pro you are taking with you uh, if you are taking let's say pan card aadhar card whatever you are taking with you you write down the name of that id proof okay so if it is let's say pan card so you are write down a government id proof pan and the number so you will write down pan number now it's not just pan okay whatever id proof you have if you are writing if you are taking your dl driving license or if you are taking your passport or if you are taking Aadhaar, whatever you are taking, okay, so you have to just write down that ID proof over here and that number over here, okay. Date of exam, you know the date of the exam and the shift of the exam, okay. Till here you have to do and you have to sign, but these things again, I am telling that this part also do not do here. When you reach the examination center, there they will tell you whether they, you, you need to submit this document or not, okay. So, Please fill whatever is mentioned here and leave the rest of the thing, keep a pen with you in when you reach the examination center and they will tell you what to be done, okay. So, do not worry about that. Do not do anything in this part because this has to be done by the NT officials and uh, it has to be only done when the candidate is found suspicious, okay. So, they are going to do whatever they need, okay. So, they will do if, if your Aadhaar card or anything is not found proper, they will do all the things. You do not have to do anything in this particular part. So, you do not have to uh, write or select or sign anything, okay. Do not do anything over here. So, I think it is clear to you this particular part is tricky. Just fill this much part, okay. Your name, your father's name, mother's name, your name over here, um, your application number, your roll number, your ID which you are planning to take with you, that number, date of exam, and shift. That is all leave other things blank do not write down anything over here as of now reach the examination center and see if they ask you for this document because i do not think that everybody of like they are going to ask for this document from everyone okay if they will ask they will definitely let you know what has to be tick here or what you have to write down here they will let you know and then fill accordingly okay so this particular part is tricky please be very careful with it okay and then of course this part you have to do self declaration has to be done by, by everyone please fill your name your address your paste your photograph do your thumb impression and leave this part do not do anything over here just leave this blank this has to be signed when you reach the examination center okay all right i hope i was much clear and i hope that you got all the point and you understood what has to be done I wish you all the best for your exam. If you have any specific question regarding your Aadhaar card or anything, please do let me know in the uh, comment section below. If you have any question regarding admit card or any section, okay. I try to explain everything in detail, but yeah, I will try to answer you over there. Take care. Have a good day. All the best for your exam.